You know, I think we've all been a little spoiled by digital data storage. If you put something on your hard drive, SSD, or a writable CD, if that's still your thing for whatever reason, you can expect to be able to pull it up again whenever you want, with every bit exactly where it's supposed to be. But despite the relative reliability of digital data storage compared to the days when we consumed everything on cassette tapes and VHS, data stored on modern media can still decay, degrade, and disappear over time. So alliteration aside, how does this happen and what can you do to prevent it? Let's start by a look at mechanical hard drives, which, although more economical than solid state drives, can fail due to the moving parts on the inside wearing out, or through damage to the platters if something like a head crash happens. But suppose you've got a dependable hard drive that you take good care of by not subjecting it to shock, moisture, or your pet ferret. How could data on the drive decay without any kind of physical damage or mishap? You see, hard drives store data as clusters of magnetic bits that are pointed in a certain direction that have the potential to flip to the opposite direction over time. However, since modern hard drives have built-in features to periodically refresh those bits of data, and they also have error-checking algorithms that can often detect and fix flipped bits, this kind of data rot is mostly a problem for drives that have been sitting around unplugged for 5 or 10 years at a time. So the average user probably won't have to worry about this all that much. But it can matter if you're using hard drives for very long-term archival-style storage. SSDs, on the other hand, can be quite a bit more fickle with retaining data for long periods of time. Although SSDs are often regarded as more durable than hard drives due to their lack of moving parts, they don't hold data as well because they rely on trapping an electrical charge inside of a small transistor. These charges can weaken over time, and while making transistors smaller and smaller have increased SSD capacities, it has also decreased data longevity. Although you can fight this off by making sure to not leave your SSD unplugged for long periods of time and just powering it on regularly, they do tend to not last as long as hard drives when unplugged. If you live in a warmer climate, your SSD might not even hold data for more than like a year if you aren't using it, as heat can accelerate data decay in those transistors. So make sure you're not doing stuff like leaving a laptop with an SSD in the back of a hot car for long periods of time, like you go on a trip or something. But Luke, what if I just store all of my super important stuff on optical discs? You don't exactly have to turn on a CD, so isn't that a better idea? Well, yes and no. Optical discs, unfortunately, are also susceptible to degradation in a number of ways, just different ways, such as oxidization of the metallic layer that actually holds the data when air seeps in through imperfections in the outer plastic layer of the disc. Adhesives that hold the different layers of a disc together can break down over time as well, even making it possible to physically pull apart the disc like some kind of weird sandwich. However, you can get archival quality disks engineered with more durable materials that can reliably store data for between 20 and 100 years, depending on how exactly they're manufactured. And there's even a relatively new type of optical disk called the M-Disk that claims it can store data for a thousand years. Whoa. But since no long-term storage solution is perfect, the best way to make sure your important stuff lasts as long as you want it to is make sure that you have independent, redundant backups. Whether that's your home or with a cloud-based archival service and remembering things like not to leave your drives sitting around or using them as paperweights, if something's really that important, I hear that stone tablets might be making a comeback. FreshBooks is on a mission to make freelancers less stressed and more organized through their easy-to-use tool for crafting and sending professional invoices in seconds. FreshBooks allows you to keep track of your hours, so when it comes time to create said invoice, you know exactly what you did, when you did it, and who you did it for. And you can even accept deposits through their platform so said people can pay you on your schedule. They also have a tool to manage your expense reports and their mobile app lets you take a picture of receipts and pretty much handles the rest of it anyways. Getting started on FreshBooks is extremely simple, even if you're not a numbers person. And FreshBooks says, especially if you're not a numbers person. 
You can try FreshBooks for free for 30 days by going to freshbooks.com forward slash techwiki and entering techwiki in the how did you hear about us section. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike the video, bit rot that dislike button. If you want to see more, like back up the subscribe button and make sure that it's pressed. If you'd like to see things that aren't really nerdy, terrible jokes about buttons, go to Channel Superfun, because there will be other terrible jokes, but probably not about buttons.